Kendall Jenner is homeless, Kim and Chloe diss Courtney's therapist, and Scott Disick pranks Chris Jenner in the latest episode of Keeping Up. Hey guys, it's Allie with your weekly dash cap, and this episode was the Courtney of the season, and if you don't get what that means, don't worry about it. But let's talk about the more fun moments first, like Kim totally freaking out that she'll have to eat a spider for James Corden's Spill Your Guts or Fill Your Guts segment. Wait, there's no spiders in there, is there? No, 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 no. <laughs> Are you scared of spiders? Because I can order some now. No, <laughs> spiders. Shut the f- up! <laughs> On to Coco, she gets art shamed by her mom for not knowing who Jeff Koons is. Even I know who Jeff Koons is, Chloe. So Chloe and Scott decide to prank the momager by hiring someone to play a fake up and coming artist called Art Vandalay. I like uh, Art Vandalay. Art Vandalay? Yeah, he's an obscure writer. What is his name? Who is he? Art Vandalay. Art Vandalay? He's an importer. Chris buys into Art Vandalay so much she becomes ecstatic finding out she's been given exclusive pieces which were all made by Chloe. The best part about this is Chloe doesn't know whether to end the prank or just keep it going forever. I'm so proud of myself actually and I'm almost pissed that I'm giving the credit to Art Vandalay. Nope. Wow. Nope, nope, Look nope. Look at this. Great. I mean, you can see the, the brush strokes. The what? detail. Oh, my God. Oh, this is, but this one you can tell has depression. Can we call it? I agree with Scott. You can really see the depression in the piece. And when you look really close, you can also see the bullshit. But seriously, how can you even tell Chris the truth when your hype man is Scotty D? Holy Wait a sec. Wow, wow. Oh, my God. I did another Done. one. It's like watching Jesus work. Also, Chris got this quote wrong. The saying goes, you're only as happy as your least favorite child. Speaking of the least favorite child, Courtney's still feuding with Kim and Chloe, and now her sisters are blaming it on her therapist. We need to find this therapist, and I want to say, like, listen, do you even know me? If you're watching, we hate you. Hate you. But okay, the Kardashian sisters try to come together and hash out their differences in therapy, and they get into another big fight, and Courtney ends up leaving. Again. Like Chloe just pushes and pushes. I'm not up for it. It's just not cool. Well, it's not cool that you come over here with such an attitude. I did it. I came in on time in a great mood. And then everybody makes fun of me. We feel like you're not compromising in so many areas. But that's my boundary. Why is that not compromising? Like, no, I'm not up for it today. All three of them later decide to get another therapist to mediate their argument, and not much gets resolved. However, Court does get emotional at one point and reveals she's traveling to see her boy toy Eunice about once a month. This adds to Kim and Chloe's frustrations, and they're pissed Courtney's not fulfilling her filming obligations for Keeping Up, which is ironic since we're watching this on Keeping Up. Two birds and one stone, I guess. On to Kenny. She's in this episode for longer than five minutes, but her drama is not as entertaining. Essentially, Kendall needs a place to stay while her home gets renovated, and Kim agrees to let her move in, only to have her house sold three days later. Kendall finds out this happened through Kris Jenner and is forced to confront Kim for not giving a heads up about it, but in seconds, their issues are resolved. Good thing the other sisters aren't as chill as Kendall. God, I miss Life of Kylie. But all right, click right up here to subscribe and hit that bell button for next week's Keeping Up Recap. And don't forget to watch the show Sunday nights only on E!